Hey everyone, another day, another handheld, with this one being Palkiddy's latest, the RGB20SX. So, the RGB20SX is, and get ready for this as the naming convention is quite confusing, a mashup between Palkiddy's RGB20S vertical and RGB30 horizontal handhelds. The RGB20SX has the form factor and general layout of the RGB20S, but the same CPU and most importantly the square screen from the RGB30, with the hopeful aim of trying to be the best of both worlds. I thought the packaging is quite funny by the way, as we have a blue versus red detail on the front, which I'm not too sure is actually about, given that there's not actually a red colour available. I thought for a second Palkadi might have been trying to make some bizarre political statement or something, until that is I saw the welcome return of the Tiger front stickers, and then just remembered it's just part of the crazy Palkida charm. So spec wise, the RGB20 SX is powered by the RK3566, which should give us access to some, but far from all of the Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast catalogs, with the expected tweets and the like to gain the best performance there. Though in truth, the four inch 720 by 720 square screen does make it far more enjoyable as a Pico 8, Game Boy, Game Gear and DS machine. Otherwise, we've got a 1GB of RAM, a huge 5000mAh battery, the PowerKiddy debut of Rocknix, the Linux OS, and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, all coming in at around 225 grand. Straight out of the box, the RGB20SX does have a pretty peculiar vertical design, but being both a fan of the RGB20S and RGB30, so much of the RGB30 in fact that I ended up picking up a metal shell for mine, I actually quite like the slightly odd but thin aspect to its vertical design. The RGB30 really made the most of a square screen and it really helps stand it out from the other lower end handhelds available. And I think that the RGB20SX does a similar thing for the vertical side. On the right side of the handheld, we've got the volume buttons and the first micro SD slot, while underneath we've got two USB-C ports and the headphone jack. On the left, we've got the power and reset buttons, as well as the second micro SD slot, which is dedicated for games. And on top, we've got the micro HDMI out. On back, we've got the four crunchy plastic style shoulder buttons. And all in all, it does feel like Palkity have used the space pretty effectively. In terms of controls, the RGB20SX does very much feel like a classic Palkity setup. That is that the D-pad has a nice feel to it, but its pivot is more on the softer side, making it translate pretty well to handheld gaming, which is great, but it does suffer more on the precision single directional input. Pulling off an arc is relatively easy to do, but quickly pressing precise directions can be tricky until you are acclimatized. The face buttons are nicely sized and spaced, and are additionally pretty responsive too, responding well to precise input and button mashing. The joysticks are a little constraining, but they are just about passable, and are fortunately neatly recessed, making the RGB20SX a very D-pad focused handheld. The shoulder buttons aren't anything particularly special, but they do have a nice response to them, and aren't too rapidly considering these type of shoulder buttons normally are excessively so. The Palkiddy RGB20SX is the first Palkiddy handheld to come shipped with Rocknix, which started as a fork of the brilliant Jell OS by a few of the former Jell OS team members after it reached end of life. Rocknix is a great firmware, with things like Wi-Fi, retro achievements and scraping, easy to set up and use, with the more advanced options like switching cores available to those that tinker. So I'll cut some gameplay footage now and summarize up at the end.
So all in all, I'm a fan of Palkadi's RGB20SX and can certainly recommend it to those who wanted a vertical RGB30. The square screen is still perfect for Game Boy Color, Game Gear, Neo Geo Pocket Color and Pico 8 among others. So if you've been looking for an excuse to jump into those game catalogs and prefer vertical handhelds, then certainly check out the RGB20SX. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching.